Hello everyone, this is Fawaz and I'll be showing you how to use Clippy 2 for Mac. I have Clippy launched and you can see its menu bar icon at the top and its dock icon at the bottom. Clicking on its dock icon brings up its preferences and settings button and its help button. If I click on the preferences, I can see that the first item, clippings in menu, asks me how many clippings I want to see up in my menu bar icon. So, this right here. Right now I have it set to 15, which means I can see a maximum of 15 clippings at a time. Any more than that will override the least recent clipping. Clipping title length, the second item, lets you specify the maximum number of characters you can see up in the menu bar icon. So 50 means 50 characters. Of course, I can even shorten each clipping title with ellipses in its menu bar icon. The pull from pasteboard interval is the amount of time it takes between you copying something and it appearing in its menu bar icon database. So right now, one means one second, and that's how long it's going to take. I can even set it to half a second, but it's a little bit bit more memory intensive. There's the hide, do the hide dock icon button right here. which restarts Clippy. I'm going to click on that just to get rid of the dock icon. And there we go. It's gone. If I want to bring that back, all I have to do is just click on the show dock icon button. And it's going to bring that back up. Keep in mind that every time I do this, it restarts Clippy, but unlike previous versions, it's able to retain the clippings that it has in memory. And the last button right here, Email All Current Copies, allows you to email all the copies that you have in the database right now. I only have one in there, but I want to add some more. So I'm going to go over here, open up Safari, copy this YouTube link, this, and this over here. Minimize that, go back to Clippy. And when I press this button, it's going to open up my mail app, allowing me to type in any email address. And like it says, press Command V below. I'm going to press that combination on my keyboard and it's going to paste all the clippings that I have in there. So I had four and it pasted the four. You can send that off. And the last thing I want to show you is that you can select whichever language you want. So the supported languages are English, French, Spanish, German, Chinese and J Japanese. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching and enjoy.